Ferrari's 2026 suspension strategy is all about maximizing aerodynamics, rather than repeating past mechanical choices. For the new regulatory cycle, the Marinello engineers are evaluating every detail to optimize airflow and performance. At the front, whether the team adopts a pushrod or pullrod layout is less important than how the suspension links are positioned in space, which ultimately defines the car's dynamic behavior. Reports indicate Ferrari may return to a pushrod front suspension after using pullrod in 2025 for aerodynamic reasons, but the real focus is managing airflow effectively. Even with evolving 2026 regulations, the shape of the car's nose could favor a pull rod setup, but switching between layouts is relatively quick and flexible. Ultimately, the final decision will depend on which configuration delivers the best aerodynamic results, as the suspension arms play a key role in controlling airflow in critical areas of the car. At the rear, the discussion is similar. Ferrari may adopt a push rod layout, replacing the SF25's pull rod, but what really matters is the positioning of the suspension triangles, which drives the car's dynamic performance. Historically, Ferrari remained faithful to pull rod layouts to optimize aerodynamics, minimizing component size and shaping airflow through the lower side pod area. Comparing solutions across different car generations is largely meaningless, as each era presents unique challenges. Ultimately, Ferrari's 2026 suspension strategy demonstrates the intricate balance between mechanical design and aerodynamics. The final layout choices, front and rear, will only reveal their true effectiveness as the season progresses and the car hits the track, where performance data will guide the team's refinements. For more news and updates about Ferrari, follow us on ScuderiaFans.com.